have been a patient um, uh, in cardiology since I was 20 years old. I was an elite rower at the University of Western Ontario, and I collapsed at a rowing regatta. Um, my aspiration was to compete in the Olympics, um, and I had every reason to believe that eventually I could reach my goal. Um, so I collapsed and was rushed to a hospital and was uh, shortly after that diagnosed with tachycardia. It wasn't until a few years later that I was diagnosed with um, right ventricular arrhythmia and dysplasia. Um, and that diagnosis uh, continued to evolve through the years as they uh, became more sophisticated in the testing. I got my first of five or six NAM lost track defibrillators in 1997. Um, and I've been living with, um, with my heart condition um, since I was 20. I'm now 46. I've had many scary experiences. I think um, I have a, a mantra I repeat to myself, today is not a good day to to die. Um, so uh, I feel like I've talked my way through, through a, a few of them. Um, I don't believe it's my time yet. Um, if it is, so be it. But uh, so far, so good. I, I've collapsed many times. I would call myself a frequent flyer using the defibrillator. Um, in one year, I had 50 um, administered therapies. Um, uh, I've been hospitalized numerous times, including being airlifted. Immediately, I, I saw two um, accomplished physicians who um, were, were addressing my, my condition much more holistically. Um, and my question on, I think, only the third visit to Dr. Ross is, what can I do? How can I help? Um, I'm, I'm privileged to be able to help, and I wanted to help. And she gave me five projects that were on the go. And I think we got to the third or fourth one, and immediately it was it, it was a uh, a home run. To find the biomarkers using data collected on a consensual basis from patients that would indicate um, markers of both cause and and prognosis. So um, being able to take a large amount of information and being able to intelligently mine it and uh, come up with perhaps new treatment models, maybe eventually a cure um, for multiple cardiomyopathies. There is so much we still don't know. And if we can uh, pursue this in Canada and share our findings with other um, groups, as I understand, at Yale and at the University of London and others, then we can eventually, hopefully, um, find a cure and, uh, and better treatment. The diagnosis I received of, of heart failure, I think, impacted my family members um, significantly because um, they have been living for many years with me having ARVC, but um, to recognize it's progressive, um, that it is heading into a direction of heart transplant, I think it's to look at me, I don't perhaps look like someone you would think who has a severe um, cardiomyopathy, um, but it, it, that's the truth. I have struggled uh, for many years. However, I think that uh, I have become a more mindful person. I think I've, because I was essentially um, 
aware of my mortality at a very young age. I think I have developed compassion for myself and others that perhaps I wouldn't have and appreciation for my life.